Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Thursday, August the 3rd, 2023. I am in Orange County, California, about to fuel up this rental car with some gas, because I am heading to John Wayne Airport, Orange County Airport, and will be flying direct flight to Delta Airlines to Detroit, Michigan, leaving California, heading into the sky to Detroit, Michigan. Been a while since I've been to Detroit. I will be there for a series of days, seeing some things, enjoying some Michigan stuff. I'm inviting you to join me as I take to the skies after I get some gas. It's frowned upon to return a rental car without any fuel in it. Look at that, look at this right here. This is how close I am to the airport. You always want to return a rental car full of gas or they will charge you more than the fuel is. Join me for a flight video. Window seat. And I think there's a meal today. Curious to see what kind of meal they're going to serve on Delta Airlines next to the window. Shall you? Self-pumping gas nozzle. Traffic going by, planes going overhead. Price of fuel here in Orange County, $5.29 a gallon. One thing I love about this airport, rental car return is in the airport catacombs. Do not have to take a shuttle off-site to go to and fro. You just head down to the basement into the nether regions of John Wayne. Well, that doesn't sound right, but into the airport itself where the parking area is and they have all the rental car returns right down here and you walk a couple hundred yards into the airport proper to your gate. All right, dropped it off. Now I'm walking the yellow brick road. Sorts. The catacombs. I take this blue elevator up to the third floor to my gate. Departure level. Car rental zero. Arrival level. Public parking lot. And three. Departure level. Wait. I don't like. I don't like that these machines ask how much I weigh. Wait. I, I don't want to tell you. When I get home, I'll weigh myself. A bit. I am looking forward to when I finally get home, which I'm not heading home now, I'm headed to Detroit. Once I get back to Celebration, I'm gonna get on the scale and see how much weight I've lost. I've been doing pretty good on the treadmill. The countdowns make me nervous. So this is an upper view here. You see the Duke right down there behind the flag. Well, you can see his legs and his, his boots showed this when I arrived. And now I'm leaving. There's a pilot right there. Maybe that's my pilot. So you can see the backside, not the backside of water, but the backside of the Duke. It's right there. The general line, I'm not a general but I can go in this line. It's only about 20 people deep. Man, 22 people deep. Not too many people in the line. So it should be smooth sailing. Take a look at this. There's a little hang glider over here. Yeah, look at this. There's like nobody here. Quick and easy. I had to take my belt off, obviously. I had to take my laptop out of the bag, which I always keep in the backpack right there. Take my shoes off but relatively quick. It's like kind of maybe no more than five minutes. Love it. I always gotta take the laptop out. There was one airport recently in the last couple of weeks, I can't remember which airport it was. I didn't even have to take my shoes off. And you'll see the one plane going behind gate four. I am at gate two. I think the plane that's going behind gate four is pulling into gate two. I think that is my plane arriving and gonna deboard and then clean it up. And then the, we're all gonna get on the plane and Go to Detroit. And I am incorrect. That is gate number three. So I'll take a look at gate three and then I'll walk over to my gate, which is gate number two. See it pulling in over here. And take a 
take a look at this. Some airports don't sell gum, but Orange County sells gum. I need to get some for the flight. I chew it on the, chew it when I'm taking off and landing. So I'm gonna get some uh, some spearmint trident right here. A little gift shop. I don't know what the basis on why some airports don't sell gum and some airports do, but California at least, OC, John Wayne. I guess John Wayne like, maybe John Wayne like, probably, he, he, he strikes me as a chewing gum kind of guy. Or maybe chewing tobacco. I don't know, did he chew chewing tobacco? Or maybe both. Maybe he did tobacco first, so I don't put words in his mouth or put tobacco in his mouth, but I don't know, John Wayne. Probably did, maybe, maybe did both. I don't know what brand he would have shooting though. You see the reflection of the airplanes over there. There's some artwork here. This is called Late Afternoon. 1990 is the name of is the name of this one. I'm just wait for my plane to arrive, looking at the artwork. Right here on just basically it's just this one gate area. Two is the one at the other end and it goes all the way down that way. Pretty easy to find your way around here. My still hasn't showed up. The gate two is still empty. At least the walkway out, the gangway out. So I'll just stare at number three here. It looks like number four over there. They got the Sky Chefs. And I believe this is going to be like a four hour flight. And usually if a flight's over two and a half hours, three hours, somewhere in that area, they will serve a meal in first class. So I got the window seat. So I should be getting a meal. Curious to see what they got food wise. Ah, perfect timing. In fact, there is gate two there. So this is the plane I'm gonna be on, arriving about a half hour before boarding begins and about an hour before takeoff. Usually they board about 30 to 35, 40 minutes beforehand. So I'm getting this pulling in to the station. You can hear the roar of the engines that self propels in. No taxiing mechanism needed on the pull in, but when it backs up, they usually have the the taxi pushback tugboat looking thing. This is my flight right here. Gate two. I think I'm seat three? Three D maybe? Maybe getting confused with other flights, but I've been three D before. Maybe I'll be three D again. They don't give you any glasses though, no three D glasses when you sit in three D. Be pretty neat if they did the a three D flight. Oh look. Here comes the Sky Chefs now. I wonder what kind of delicacies, delicacies for my taste buds they will have. Look at this helicopter up here. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I choose the words in the dialogue with the cadence. I don't know what's wrong with me. They were cones. Okay, I just double checked and I am in fact in 3D. See how they, uh, well, the pilots are putting up the little, the little windshield sun blockers there, just to keep the sun and keep it cool in the cockpit there. Beehive of activity down there. So take a look. There's the little tugboat. Well, they're not tugboat, but the little tug mechanism there. And they've already got the. A yellow beam on there preparing for pushback already and the plane hasn't even deboarded yet so fascinating plane flight the fact that you can go from point a to point b all the way across the country in a matter of hours is just incredible connecting it up uh, here's a view of it from the side window, and you got the freeway over there in the distance, Santa Ana, off in the distance over that way as well. So this is the this gate number two is the farthest gate all the way down at the end of the airport. It's the first one. All right, looking at the temperature in this neck of the woods, about to board also, Anaheim, which is just up the road from here, like you know, a couple minutes up, a couple minutes just north of the airport, 78 degrees where I'm heading. 85 degrees. This is interesting. There's an air quality issue. Doesn't look like it's going to be too bad there, though. Not like not like it's Florida hot. Taking my way to my seat. 3D. Seat D, row three. No layovers today. Direct flight. I always like to. <laughs> 
peak out here. Bumpy over the Rockies. Stop fish on last one to pay for it here. Close the doors up and we'll be on our way. Right now, Detroit is for a gusty wind side of the west, southwest. Uh, 10 miles visibility, a few clouds at 4,000, scattered 25,000. Temperature is salads and people that ordered before I did got the four salads. They had a grilled chicken salad. So I asked what else they had. They said all they have is a cheeseburger. That's what I got. A cheeseburger in the air. It looks pretty good though. It also comes with a triple chocolate chunk cookie.
this is? Mayonnaise?
been in here before. First time in the Detroit airport. Nice. Some stores in the airport have merchandise of the cities they're in that are called something else, but this store is actually called Detroit. That's the name of the store. Detroit. And then there's DTW Essentials over here. It's got the Detroit, Michigan. Established 1806 t-shirts one city to another oh look at the God. size of this gumball machine this thing is massive uh, no it's over here plus she was talking to me look at this two for a dollar fifty cents you get a big gumball I asked one of the workers where the rental cars was and he instructed me to pass the gumball machine and just keep walking this way oh there's a big ceiling in here look at this US flag down here at the end. Hey, this is nice. Like I feel like I'm walking through a mall. A lot of airports are like that now. Big shopping centers. You're welcome. Alright, this is the bridge to parking and also the bridge to ground transportation. If you look over here, this must be where the pickup area is. Quite a few cars down there. All very congested. Lurking in the shadows. See one of the buses down here. Now it's probably going to take off before I get to it. But that's the shuttle bus over to the park. Unlike John Wayne, this one you got to take a bus. Like most airports, you got to take a bus over to the front of the park. I got my rolling luggage put away. I got my backpack with me. Time to go over to the rental car facility. Everything's a process. See the control tower way over there. It's a nice little ride over here. Yeah, definitely don't want to walk that. Glad they had a shuttle. They were cones. 
rental car time. I have now acquired a rental car. Take a look at these interesting blue bridges here. I have now arrived at my hotel where I will be spending the next few evenings. Give or take a day, be here for a few. A little bit of a time difference too. It's already almost 9 p.m. because I gained three hours going back, heading back east from where I was in California. I'll be in Detroit for a little series of days. With the time difference, it's getting kind of late. I'm gonna turn in for the eve and then start off tomorrow by seeing and doing some stuff. And with the very beautiful sunset, it's kind of glistening the clouds up there in the sky behind the flag there. Well, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. I can't even tell you the last time I was even in Detroit. I was here with the touring band like 10 years ago. That might have been the last time I was in Detroit proper. It's gonna be fun.